Hi, I'm Ella Jones and I'm working at Granger and Morrill as an apprentice project engineer. I have started my apprenticeship last September and it has a duration of four years. Um, and I currently do a part-time course at the Marches Centre of Manufacturing and Technology, working three days a week there and then two days a week in company. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I do a three, two week, so three days a week at training, which is, consists of loads of different courses such as turning, milling, welding, and then you've also got the theory side like maths, business improvement techniques, um, production planning and then on the other two days a week I go back into company and actually use the skills that I'm learning in the industry. Um, I'd say the most interesting thing in my work at the moment is the diversity in what I do. With the ever-changing automotive industry there's always something different so obviously at the moment electric drive units are coming in, the new electric vehicles working on that so I love the diverse range of things I get to do on a daily basis. So in my team at the moment, there's project, every project manager has a project engineer or apprentice project engineer. Um, and then the, all the project managers work together. They meet up three times a week to do the morning meetings. Um, and we all work together to obviously provide customer satisfaction for our products. And so as part of my job, there are a lot of customer visits. So recently I went to Jaguar Land Rover at the Gailey site and we do customer visits to make sure they're happy with the parts, the process that we're taking them through. But then also on a daily, day, daily basis, um, I'm in the foundry checking on parts, I'm in the offices doing working with the CAD people, um, so very diverse really. Um, at the moment I'm not specialised in one area, so I think it's important that I get all the foundations first and I get a wide range of knowledge, um, but hopefully towards the end I will specialise in something possible in motorsport, I'm not sure. I think it's really inspiring that there is a change going on from the male dominated society, I think it's really important that us as women are bringing that in and I think that's what's needed, it needs to change, it needs to be diverse and I think that goes hand in hand with the, also the more need for apprenticeships and skills based learning as opposed to university learning. I'd say one of the most important things that I've done so far in my apprenticeship which is making a difference is the community support one we're doing, so we're, doing, we're part of a um, Bridge North Art Trail which is a council run project and the community that that brings in the knowledge that we've raised awareness for women in engineering, engineering in general, and the work that we do as part of our company, I think that's been the most inspiring thing that I've been involved in. I knew it was always apprenticeships for me, but actually never knew the path I wanted to go in. And then I completed my A-levels, and towards the end of that, my school, as soon as they knew I didn't want to go to university, they didn't really have anything for me. So I decided to go into engineering, um, and then started my apprenticeship last September. Um, hopefully I plan to move towards more the marketing side of engineering. I think there's a massive gap in marketing and engineering, but I think it's important for me to have the foundations of engineering first in order to move that way, so that with the marketing we can make engineering more known, make it keep moving forward. My advice to young people considering a career in the industry would be definitely go for it, at least try it. I jumped into it and I love it, so give it a try.